Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell here from the Dice Tower. And this video here is taking a look at some of the stuff on the new Kickstarter from Allplay, the Ultimate Game Room Makeover. And so, in this video we're just going to show off a few of the things here that they have and that we're using at Dice Tower Studios. So first, we're going to jump to Brian and then Mike taking a look at the tables. Here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's Mike Delicio coming to you from the Dice Tower Midwest Annex, and I am just getting ready to put together my new Jasper table that was sent to me from All Play. So I'm going to kind of let the camera run and maybe do some time lapsey stuff and take some pictures while I'm doing it so you can get a pretty good idea on what the installation and the, the putting together of this table is like. Then once it's together, I'll tell you about my impressions of the table and uh, We'll go from there. All right, here we go. Ready to rock and roll. All right, well, here I am at my fully assembled Jasper table, sitting in a fully assembled Jasper chair. And the first thing I think I wanna do is just talk about the uh, assembly process, because that obviously can be a very important consideration when you are talking about furniture. And so, as you saw in that kind of time-lapse video that I was shooting while I was building the table, I built this entire thing, the table, the four chairs, by myself, so no assistance, no help was necessary or needed. Uh, I found the assembly process to be very, very painless. So this is coming from somebody that has built many pieces of furniture from, let's just say, for example, a large Swedish furniture company. And so I know that sometimes putting together furniture can be a real, real ordeal. I didn't find that with this. I needed a screwdriver, literally a screwdriver was the only tool that I needed. They uh, supplied an Allen wrench, which is obviously uh, you know, pretty ubiquitous when you're putting together furniture. Uh, and I did end up using my uh, drill as a, a screwdriver only for the, the, the kind of the support base for the table, but everything else was done by hand with a screwdriver. I did it in an afternoon. There was really no problem understanding how to put the table together. It was uh, really pretty seamless and pretty painless, every, all things considered. So uh, assembly I found to be a very, very positive experience coming from somebody that has built a fair amount of furniture. Speaking of somebody that has built a fair amount of furniture and somebody who has owned a fair amount of furniture throughout their life, uh, one of the first things that I noticed about this Jasper table and chairs is that this is solid oak. And most of the furniture I have owned in my life has not been solid wood uh, for a number of reasons, primarily price. Uh, the, the wood furniture that I've had has been, you know, a press board type of material or something along those lines. And so that's a big change in this new version of the Jasper table. Uh, I was told that this was originally, uh, the, the earlier tables were from overseas, um, but this is um, oak, solid oak from the United States. And the quality from, from what I've seen is 
outstanding, stellar, uh, beautiful grain to the wood. The stain is gorgeous. I got this kind of dark walnut stain. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, wood. And it feels very sturdy. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not going anywhere. Uh, and you know that is something that is important, obviously, with any piece of furniture, but particularly with a table. Um, this feels very well put together, even with my assembly skills or lack thereof, the table feels very, very solid. So that was one of the first things I noticed. Also, the legs are different on this version of the Jasper table too. They are custom legs. They're not the standard legs that were on earlier models. And I absolutely love the little wood chevrons that, that magnetically stick to the, um, to the, the screws that the, the hex uh, screws that you put in to, to affix the legs to the table. Really, really nice touch. And the legs themselves are, you know, nice, a, a nice upgrade from previous versions of the table. Okay, so some other differences that I've noted, and this is coming from somebody who has played on and been around a number of the earlier iterations of the Jasper table at the Dice Tower Studios. And let me make it clear, those <laughs> earlier editions of the Jasper are very, very nice. They're nothing to shake a stick at, but there are some significant improvements that I find, find uh, and have found in this new edition of the table. And number one is that the way that the cup holders and the bit trays are attached to the table are in a tongue and uh, they, they're in a tongue and groove system now and they have magnetic uh, fasteners so when you put those cup holders in when you put those bit trays in you put it in that little tongue and groove and it just kind of pops right in there it feels very satisfying um, look who doesn't love magnets let's let's be honest with ourselves and so that is a really really nice um, kind of change to it uh, that I found from the earlier tables to this table um, really, really nice. The other difference, and something that I had not seen before, uh, we didn't have any of the toppers at the Dice Tower Studios, is the topper for this table, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, the earlier editions had a tongue and groove um, type of a uh, fastening system, and with this new edition, they've gone to dowels, which make it a bit more kind of sturdy and, and easy to, to kind of know that you've got this thing uh, connected. And it's very you know easy to, to kind of assemble and disassemble the topper. Uh, and again, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you put that topper on and you've got a very, very nice quality dining room table. Uh, you remove those toppers, you've got a very, very nice quality gaming table. And so uh, very, very happy with the, um, the, the topper and the tongue and groove system on the, uh, on the sides, all around the sides of the table so that you can easily add, remove any of the different types of accessories you may get, whether they're cup holders or wine holders or the bit trays, any number of these different items. Um, the last thing to mention is the, the chairs, the Jasper chairs, which are very, very nice. They, they are in the same stain as the table and they look beautiful. I mean, as a, as a, uh, a complete dining and gaming uh, ensemble, it is very, very sharp. And I'm extremely happy with how well constructed the chairs are. Again, how easy they were to assemble and how sturdy they feel while sitting in them. Um, and they also, I think, are going to accommodate a large amount of different body types, which is also always nice to have, you know, a, a situation where you can make everyone feel comfortable at your gaming table. So uh, overall, I am very, very happy with this uh, new Jasper gaming table. I feel like it does so many things so well at a price point that quite honestly is hard to believe. <laughs> Again, as someone that has bought furniture and has spent more for less. Uh, I'm very, very happy with this Jasper table. All right, that's it for me. All right, so this is it. This is something I've been waiting for for a while. This is the Jasper 3 table from All Play Games. Now, what I love about this table is multiple things. First of all, as I'm talking here, I'm going to be running a little bit of a uh, what do you call it? Time lapse to show you me setting up. Now, here's a couple things. Uh, normally, when I do games reviews, I would go art, art direction, and then gameplay. Well, obviously, we can't do that here because we're talking about a table. But we will talk about some things that are important when it comes to setting up a table. For instance, construction. Is it easy to construct? Well, let's start there. 
So it comes in multiple boxes and it's packed pretty well. Um, when you see the packing material, I honestly didn't think it would be super safe in there, but it was like the cardboard, actually the corrugated cardboard really held this thing and it holds it tight and it holds it well for, you know, if it's in the back of a truck and a, another box falls on it and it gashes it, right? That is protected in here and everything's wrapped up pretty well to where even the wood itself is protected. Now, setting it up and actually putting it together. Probably took about 45 minutes to an hour. Really, actually pretty quick. Now, I followed a video. You'll have an instruction guide in yours, but what's great is it's very simple, right? It's pretty intuitive, too. You take these rails, you uh, put the screws in the edge of the rails, and you level it up flush against the edge of the table on that little cleat there, and then you put the boards on. You slide them in, right? And when you see that, you're like, boy, I, I hope this looks a little better because <laughs> you forget that there's a table topper, but it's that nice... Uh, it's like an MDF or something, or whatever it's called, wood that you put in there, slide that across, and then you screw that down once you put the rails on, and then that holds it all together, right? Then you put your table topper on, you put your legs on, and then, or you put your legs on, then you put your table topper on, and then what I love is these right here. These are little, uh, it calls it chevrons, and they're chevron shaped. This covers up the screw holes because the screws go in from the outside of the table. And so when you're looking at it, you're like, oh man, I wish I could hide those screw holes. That's brilliant right there. And they just magnetize right onto the screw. So it looks really nice. So construction itself is a very easy setup. You've seen this time lapse now. Now let's talk about actually how this table looks with the topper on it, without the topper on it. What I really love about it is, first of all, this is nice wood. It's very nice wood. It's, it's a very, it's a US sourced wood. Uh, it's very nicely stained. It takes a great color like this uh, ebony or kind of dark mahogany or whatever it's called is very nice. It looks really, really, really solid. It's got that nice, like it looks nice. What I mean by that, it looks high end furniture. Like it looks like something you'd go into a furniture shop, a furniture shop and buy, which to me is a huge win, right? I love that. What I love about the construction of it, the actual placement, and this is something I've been wanting for a long time when it comes to a gaming table, having one is this right here. The ability to put my arms like this on the table. I know that seems silly, but when you're playing on your kitchen table or something like that, you don't really have that ability to put your arms up on the table. You kind of have the stuff there. So this, you got your arms here, you can sit, you can look, you can talk, and then you can have your stuff right in front of you. You can have your stuff right over there. You can reach down. It's excellent, right? So it looks great. The legs look great. They look nice. I love the taper to the legs. They look really, really great. Now, when it comes to what this table can do, well, right here in front of me, I've got all these accessories. I've got the bit boards. I've got the cup holders. And what's great is, I don't know if you'll be able to see this right here. Yeah, you probably can. It magnetizes in. So this is solid. It pops right off. You can store them on the tabletop. You can store them wherever you want to store them. It just slots in. And what's great about that is, it means that you can move these anywhere you want because the entire cleat around the table will hold these. So put it right here if you want. Have your cup holder to your left. Uh, you know what? I want to sit my cup to my right. Boom, pop it right in. That seems like a silly thing, but when you're playing games, I've seen games get spills, right? I've seen um, somebody spill something on Viticulture one time, and that was just tragic because at the time, Viticulture was out of print. It was hard to get. So having these cup holders slot in and then magnetize, and those are some really strong, good magnets right there. It holds everything really well. The little bit trays are just as nice, too. So when it comes to playing on this table surface, it's just a joy. It really is. Now, this is not its permanent home. It's in my office right now, so it's a little tight in here. So we're trying to find exactly where this table will lie. But you will see this table in future reviews. You'll see all my review teaches done here. Probably with a top-down camera straight onto the surface because it's really what made for that. And you say, well, what about playing on a tabletop? Or how does that feel versus playing on wood or whatever your table? Just the ability to be able to reach over and pick up bits instantly without doing the come on, come on, and try to find a crack in your table, get your finger under it. It's such a small thing, but it really makes it worth it. So the Jasper 3, I highly recommend this table. It is solid. It's currently sitting on a panel floor. Like I've got, uh, you know, t uh, whatever it's called, flooring in here, right? It doesn't slide. It doesn't move. It doesn't wobble at all. Like the construction of this is so nice. It's heavy in a good way. Like you don't want a light gaming table. You want this to feel like something you would eat dinner off of. And which is what's great about these right here, the table toppers. Now, I don't have my dowels in right now, but this will just go right across your table. You'll dowel them into each other, and it sits flush on your tabletop. And what's great is they're heavy. Now, why does that matter? Well, because if you have a kid who pushes it or something like that, the whole thing's not going to move. It's very heavy, and it sits right on your tabletop, and it looks like a nice high-end piece of furniture that you'd be happy to have in your home. So go check out the Jasper 3. It is a phenomenal table. I absolutely love this. It is just such good construction, so well-made. 
I am so excited about playing games on this for ever, pretty much, basically, because it will last, seems like forever. So really nice construction to wrap things up. Really nice construction, easy to put together, looks amazing and really a joy to play on. Plus the accessories make it oh so useful to play on. So that's the Jasper 3. I am Brian Drake here on the Dice Tower. Make sure to follow the rest of the videos that we do here and you will see this table a whole lot in reviews to come. See you soon. Before we end this video, I do want to talk about one last thing here, which I am just really excited about. I want to be clear that uh, the Dice Tower is sponsored by All Play, but I really love these shelves. So you see these shelves in the video behind us. And we have them up here, and they're set up with all the little knickknacks. And we have them in three of our studios, these shelves set up. And these are put together, and what's neat is they can slide around. Um, not, not, I mean, you, you bolt them into place, but you can build them in any kind of configuration you want. They're really good quality. But I wanted to see, and all play suggested, I wanted to see if I could use them at home, too. So these are great for games, right? Games fit perfectly on these shelves. Um, but I wanted to see if I could use them at home. So they sent me a set of shelves and I put it together myself. And I got to be honest, I am not a builder, um, but they had an idea. I took a look at a picture. They sent them to me and all you do is you build each one. It's basically you put in four screws on each side to put together the four boards. And you have these four very, very solid, you know, you have a, 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 a drawer here, a square or a rectangle. And you then will take these and bolt them together. But because there's long holes in the sides of them, you can move them around. And I'm telling you folks, this is really, really a solid stuff. Um, I like the idea that you can build them in any configuration. You see the one at my house is a Christmas tree, but it looks really nice with all the different knickknacks and trophies and things that we have on it. And then here at the studio, the same kind of deal. And then of course for board games, these are amazing. And like I said, they are really permanent quality. Look, I, you know, folks, I talk about the calic shelves a lot and I think calic shelves are great, but you ever try to move one? They, they fall apart pretty easily. These are built to last. Like I said, the ones we have, we're going to last us the rest of our lives. So anyway, that's kind of a quick look here. Do you want to upgrade your room? Do you want to make your room like just the ultimate gaming room? Well, then these are some tables and some shelves and other stuff. Check out the Kickstarter. We'll have a link in the description below. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.